All right, guys, tonight I'm going to try and attempt to photograph my second comet, which is Comet 12P Pond Brooks. The first comet I've ever seen was Comet 30F back in Jan uh, yeah, January to February of 2023. Is that something passing by? Oh no. Um, yeah, that was, that was back in that then, said to you. Um, really, really pleased with the results, but I'm gonna try and uh, photograph this comet, Pond Blue. Okay, so, oops. This is where Pond's Brooks is right now. All the way over there, so it's not far from both galaxies in uh, yeah, Andromeda and Triangulum. It's about there, it's not far from Jupiter. So if I look right to Jupiter, then um, Hamal, and then a bit left uh, below my mark, should be there. And I got my Canon 250D with the telephoto lens to photograph this absolute beast. So, wish me luck, I guess. So I know this is astronomical twilight, but I'll try and photograph you right. Right, so, lens cover's off. So let me try and navigate my way. So, if we look here, I think this is Jupiter. Uh, let's zoom in to confirm there's going to be the moons uh, shining up. So you can see. Some of Jupiter's moons shining up. That's cool. We've got a ham out later, so that must mean that is Mirac. So we'll just take the shot. And then maybe we'll be getting Comet Ponds Brooks at Astronomical Twilight. Right, so. Looks bright. So. Oh, guys, okay, guys, so. That star in the middle is Marak. On the Sky Guard episode, uh, said um, the comet will be like next to a, a fairly bright star, which I think is this one, so that must mean that one. That one in the center there, I think that's the comet because they look a bit green. Wow, I think I got it. So we're not gonna leave it like that, we're gonna wait till it gets a bit darker and we'll try again but with better, you know, same stuff. That was kind of like a test shot, but I mean, that's impressive. I actually caught cool, the comments, I think. Which, if that's the case, upon um, reflection, that is officially my second comet I've ever caught. That's all I guess. <laughs> wow. So guys, whilst we're waiting, let me just show you some other objects in the sky. So here's Jupiter. If I crank up the ISO, I can see some of Jupiter's moons. Which is very impressive. If I point up. So, I think from where I'm pointing, that is Betelgeuse. So that must mean, that, um, that's Bellatrix. So that must mean, somewhere here, is Orion's Belt. There we go. So that's Orion's Belt, guys. I can't go further because uh, I don't have room. But below will be the Orion Nebula. Moon. Moon time. So the moon should be somewhere up here. Oh, there we go. So there's the moon, guys. You can see that is. So you can see the bright part, like obviously the most brightest part would just be little, but you can see. A bit of a circle, like a semicircle on the other side, which is actually the shadow of the moon. It's what is called Earth shine. So where Earth is kind of shining onto the shadow bit of the moon, well, especially when it's crescent phases, you'll see it much better. This is like around first quarter phase, maybe just past it a bit. And if I crank the, um, oh, what satellite, nice. So I guess if I turn down uh, the exposure and ISO. Uh, you shall, so there we go, we shall be able to see the details. Ah, uh, that looks 
very focused. There's the moon in first quarter phase. Boom. Isn't that amazing, guys? I should one more thing to show you. Here's Pleiades right there. And then to the left, this is in Taurus, this is Hades. The Star Clusters in Taurus. Ain't that amazing, eh? Right. So my task is to find and photograph, which I kind of already did, uh, Pond's Brooks, the comet. I've just been notified that the ISS is rising right now, so this is where it's going to be. And I'll be able to see it just about. So we're going to look out for that in uh, three minutes. Problem, I've noticed these clouds are coming in, which is not necessarily good. I hope it doesn't get worse than this. Uh, so you see two star things, so we've got Paris on here, and that is the ISS. This is the first time I've seen this in ages. So there it is, just rising up. Let's go, just passed by um, Regulus to start. Come on, I think eventually it will enter it very soon. I'm gonna guess in 3, 2, 1, start dimming. Oh. Oh well. Wait, it's getting, it's getting a little bit dimmer now. Oh, oh guys. And it is just about going, going on. And yeah, just about gone. So that was the ISS, guys. Wow. And I've just turned around just to see all this. Oh, this is not good. Okay, well, no, there's a clear, there's a clear break. Ponce Brooks is down there. Okay, I'll be fine then. I just love it when the clouds goes in front of the moon. Um, it's just very cool. Oh, wait, I've got the lens on. Okay, we can be able to zoom in the moon. Boom. Crazy details. There's a recording of the 15 Pro Max iPhone. And then here's the clouds. Wow. And then there's uh, two stars part of Gemini. All right. Guys, I am officially proud to say this is my second comet I've photographed, and this is definitely it. So here's the star, and then this is this is a screenshot of the sky guide where it should be. This is where I pointed that green blob down there. Oh crap! I love where is it? Ah. Uh, there, that is the comet. Holy crap. I know it's a bit training, but that doesn't matter. As long as I got it, I'm happy. So that is Comet Pondsbrooks. It's going to get brighter next year. Uh, next month. Might be able to see seen during the solar eclipse, or, um, which I'll make a video about um, in a few days or something. But there it is, guys. That is amazing. I caught another one as well. So Pondsbrooks is just... So there's Mirac in the center. Pondsbrooks is just there. And then as a nice combo to the right, you see a fuzzy blob. That my friends is the Andromeda Galaxy. So, wow, I'm happy. I'm very happy I got this tonight. So, clouds are clearing away. Back tonight east, so that's good. I might photograph another, uh, a few more celestial bodies in the sky, especially Duke and the Moon, to share with you. But my mind tell you it was Comet Pondsbrooks, and I've managed to get it without any problems. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. So guys, apart from that, I'll show you the photos, some I edited, or all of them maybe, uh, on Photometer. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and see you later.